Hello and welcome to the Armbar Arcade. I'm Ney and today I'll be reviewing Drive Club for the PlayStation 4. In the background of this video there's footage of me playing the game and showing off its various stages and race types. Career mode is the main source of single player entertainment as players work their way through various events taking place in five real world locations. Canada, Chile, India, Norway and Scotland which is currently on screen. These locations are all distinctly different from one another and offer a good variety of terrain for players to race through. Most events in single player mode are competitive races or race series against up to 12 opponents. There's a variety of cars which increase in power as players progress through the events and consequently the game. In each event there are stars which can be earned for completing various goals such as achieving a certain top speed, a good lap time and finishing in first place. These stars go directly towards unlocking more events in career mode. A level up system is also in place whereby drivers earn points for stylish driving throughout the game. Leveling up unlocks new cars and paint jobs. The driving featured in the game feels great with an excellent sense of speed and fairly realistic weight and handling models whilst retaining an arcade racing feel. The AI racers are usually pretty competent and close quarters racing is the name of the game as your opponents try and push and shove their way through corners with you. The overall selection of cars is also impressive with a good variety of small, sporty and hyper powered cars to unlock. The cars and locations look great, there's some good damage modelling and time of day effects too. There are lots of paint jobs to unlock but the choices still feel a little limited so I tend to go for the standard ones on most cars. In addition to regular races there are also time trials and drift events. Time trials are a great opportunity to enjoy the scenery and take in the views as you try to beat the required time. Drift events work very well requiring players to pass through drift and speed sections which interchange to shift the focus from carefully planned drifting to power slides and controlled chaos. These events reminded me a little of drift races in Need for Speed Carbon. Outside of single player mode the game has various online features for players to enjoy including challenges and forming clubs to race with the team. Overall Drive Club is a really enjoyable game and the only letdown is how much of a grind the career mode becomes in its later stages with more and more difficult star challenges, harder AI and more powerful cars to contend with. While I've had a good time so far with the game it's one which I choose to dip in and out of rather than playing consistently. If I had to score this game it would be a solid 7.5 out of 10 with great gameplay and a variety of stunning locations to race in. With a better progression in its career mode it would definitely be more engaging but it's still well worth a try. So until next time on the Umpire Arcade, keep on gaming.